I'm Aid Emsley, Orange Amps. This is Desert Fest. I'm here with, with Matt Pike from yeah. Sleep. I'm Matt Pike from Sleep at Desert Fest. <laughs> Playing his amps. <laughs> so I take it you're a bass player? I play both. I, I do now too. Yeah, I, I, I just play got, both really. I, I just got yeah. this uh, Gibson fretless uh, ripper. It's fucking badass and I put it through. I actually use a dual dark orange and an Ampeg. And it, yeah, oh, nice, I put it yeah. through. Yeah, I put Do it through the top some. End on a dual dark. So some of those uh, Earthquaker effects. They have some oh, gnarly. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You know. Yeah, um, I tend to like the buy amp with the bass. I like to put like a guitar amp on the top end. I, uh, that's the way know. to do it. That's and the way to do it. That's well, everybody I play with does that. You know, the, everybody yeah. at least has a half stack for the. It helps if you've got new strings to get the harmonics off. Yeah, you know, and it dirties it up. A box of it dirties it up yeah. without a distortion mod. Yeah, well, I like, I like, I like having multiples because the difference between there's there's like kind of a chunk kind of thing. Yeah, chunk riffs, and then there's smooth like where you have to hold it really long time. Yeah, and you don't want it to feedback unnecessarily. You want it to feedback smoothly into yeah, stuff. Yeah, in a so it takes a, it takes some dialing in, but yeah. You like the dual darks. I like the dual darks a lot. Yeah, I like the 200 watt Thunderverbs. And I like those little OR 50s or 80s. It's the, it's the OR 50, I think. Yeah, yeah dude, yeah. those fucking shred if you have a bunch of them. Yeah. And you mic the shit out of them and use those for, like, really, like the PA tone. You know what comes yeah. out of the PA? Yeah. I use that and then a little pig nose in yeah, the back. Yeah, a lot of artists like Usually. those. Because uh, it was meant to be, the original ones were like our 40th anniversary. And we had a plexiglass front on them. You know, oh man, and and then I'd like to get my hands on one of those. We ran them for a year, and and then people just started contacting us saying, "Can you do the OR50 again?" You know, and we were getting emails every day about it, so we bought them back. I like them. Know? They're they're tone, tone wise, those are really really good because yeah. they saturate because there's not so many tubes to spread out to. It's just those yeah, yeah. two saturation. Yeah. No, they do, they have a sound. Three stages, they are. There are three stages of gain, you know. Uh, whereas the rock of herbs are four. Thunderverbs are three. Uh, Thunder, the 200 ones are really good for massive amounts of sound being projected. Yeah, they push, they push the bottom out of the cabinet's night in a certain way, but they play really firm, mm -hmm. do you know? Yeah, I'll just try and make a good, honest amp, you know, uh, <laughs> with proper transformers and, yeah, you know, and the other thing is, there's so many people that say their amp is 100% tube, and it's not. Like the effects look solid state, uh, you know, the some of the distortion solid state. You know? Yeah, well, and they're saying it's 100% tube, and they're just lying to people. I don't like that. I keep the solid state stuff solid state, and the tube stuff tube. Tube, all tube. Yeah. yeah. Well, in my laney, I have partridge transformers. Mm. That shit's fucking. Why don't they make that like that anymore? That's the weird thing because I, I know I can tell the difference. I think you know what I'm saying? Transtronic have got the drawings for those. It's like that. Mercury does them. You know, I have SLOs, yeah, Soldanos. Yeah, yeah. Mercury is pretty good, but yeah, there's nothing quite like the Partridge thing. Yeah, you know? we used Mercury's for a bit in the USA amps, and I liked them. I thought they were really good. They are, they are, definitely. You know, uh, and it actually prompted me, because they sounded better than what we were using at the time, and it prompted me to, obviously, I looked at getting coils sent over from Mercury to Europe and then laminating them here. Yeah. But uh, they wouldn't do it, so. I just went to the drawing board and redesigned all the transformers until I was happy with them, you know. And uh, all the output transformers, you know, 50 watt upwards or eight section, you know, like proper. Yeah, well, uh, they're good. I mean, they're, they perform, they put out. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, they work great, the partridges, yeah, you know. Uh, you could get similar made now, though. Yeah. You know. I mean, ours are not a million miles. My, ours are a different design because I went from scratch, but, you know, because I didn't want to tear anything down and rip it off. It's not the way I roll, you know. I just kind of went, right, I'm going to make something that sounds similar to this or maybe try and better it. Yeah, yeah, know, for and, sure. And uh, just do my own recipe, build a few different ones up. Well, then it's all a matter of parts. 
like, like little parts, them, you know, and, capacitors and, and like diodes and shit like that. And that's where I don't build amps. <laughs> like that's where I get confused. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Dudes like you, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah, thank I mean, you for we making still, them. We still build some hand wired stuff as well. You know, custom shop stuff. Uh, always have a lot of fun doing those you know hard wires yeah that's the you know and they are different they do sound different what's your preference on speakers do you mess with stuff yeah i do i really like el nico's el nico's yeah i really like i, I did a bit of work on the gold tens i'm a, i like tens really i use them a lot yeah like it's it's it's, it's weird know, but yeah the low end like thing el nico caps you know the I low end that. thing the smaller you get the more of them produces low end yeah well, I like curry? open back because it's not as directional, and you st could still get a lot of bottom out. Of them, you know, uh, I like open back. My my uh, friend who records my other band, High on Fire, uh, Kurt Ballou, he's in that band Converge, and Emperor made him a bunch of open backs. Yeah. And I, I think they're just like Celestian, like greenback copies. Yeah. But I don't like speakers that are less than 100 dB. I don't see the point. Yeah. You know, if you're gonna lug a four by twelve, you want it to be loud. Yeah. So, and if it's 96 dB speakers, it's half as loud as 100 dB speakers. The way the human ear hears decibels, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's half as loud. Yeah, I've tried the Fane El Nico's, they're good. El Nico's, I'll they keep do, that. Uh, they do oh, I gotta write that watt, down. Uh, a 60 watt cream colored thing, El Nico 12, which is really nice. Huh. It's kind of like the Celestium, but a little bit softer, but not too soft. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of a well, nice yeah. balance, and the bottom's really good on them. Well, Those if, the, are nice, if yeah. they're a little bit puffy to begin with, that's where that's where your effects come in and shit. You yeah, know? So, yeah. And how you're driving the amp. I use a lot of mid, so it's it's smoother than like if I turn all the mids off and it's it's bottom, you know, the bottom and the top. That's what everybody likes in like metal or something. I I like the I owe me Randy Rhodes mid thing, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Iron too. Maiden even used a lot of mid, you uh, know. You've got to use a lot of mids on guitar, you know. Yeah. Push or if you want your that, if you, you want know, your lead yeah. to pop out, add mid, you yeah. know. Yeah, totally, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to take it out if you want lead, you know. Totally. It's, it's gonna sound like a wasp in a jar if you do that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think lots of people try to add a little treble to it or yeah. volume and treble, and it's like, it doesn't make it smooth. No. Nah. More mid, smooth, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like water, though. Well, that's like the Tiny Terror, it doesn't have any tone control. You know? Oh, I love that thing, though. Because it's, it's, uh, <coughs> well, the tone I have, control. I have actually, two of those, actually. It's actually a filter on the power amp. Oh, yeah. So the preamp hasn't got any tone stack in there at all, which is why it's got a perceived gain of like a three stage when you crank uh -huh. the gain up. Yeah, yeah. It's actually a two stage because it hasn't got the tone stack loading it down. Well, you know, you, you know, get more through on my rig know. out on my rig out there. Um, usually, I have one of those with me in the states. I have two of them, but uh, I didn't get a chance to bring anything over here like that. You know, weight wise and luggage yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah. But usually, I have one of those tiny tears and you know a little t, t speaker deal, and we put it in a Marshall head case or you know one of the big cases, and we just put a fifty seven in there. And I started with a pig nose doing that, and then I, you know, I got endorsed by Orange a little bit, and I started using that thing, and it, it really rips. And that's what, you know, the guy at the board can really do shit with my guitar with yeah. that thing. And then he has a bunch of effects pedals up here that just distort that thing, or you know, give it delay, or swirl it around the room, or whatever. And then I don't have to touch shit; I just have to play. So that's cool. Well, that's 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 the thing, isn't it? That's what you <laughs> yeah. want to really do. You know, you just want to play it. You know. But uh, those saturate and the output stage. Yeah. Nice, because the transformer, the way the transformer is, it's yeah. like a baby 50 watt five stage. Yeah. But miniaturized. Yeah, no, know. it's great. Uh, and that saturates kind of like an old, like an old late 60s 50 watt I would, do you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, in yeah. a 15 watt, you know, you get that kind of saturation. Well, I, I don't need them much either, because it's in a box next to a mic going through the speakers out there so yeah that's, that's like oh I, I got that from for, that's an old frank zappa trick yeah he'd take a little pig nose and fool everyone <laughs> and just be shredding it yeah you yeah. know yeah I'm a, I'm a big zappa fan oh i love zappa yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah no i'll just try to make good honest amps don't lie to anyone don't tell them it's 100 percent tube if it's not yeah and uh, we make solid state amps 
but it's a different animal, you know, and I try and keep them 100% solid state where yeah. possible, you know. Yeah, I'm not a big solid state dude, but that's not what I do, you no, know. No, no, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool for like practice room or something, but. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we make them really for people who can't afford the tube amps, you know. Yeah, we'll try yeah. to get them to sound as good as possible. Oh, yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, without being tube, you know. And so the, the control panel, if they find themselves on a rocker verb, they'll know where they are. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. It works like the, the controls actually come in at roughly the same place, you know, so they won't be lost if they find themselves on a, a rocker verb or a dual dark or a thunder verb, you know. Sure. The game oh. structure works the same, the same yeah. similar place. Well, yeah. I've been using these for so long, I like, I just, I know, I know all of them, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I know what they all yeah. do, so. Yeah, yeah. Great. Well, cool. thank you for making a solid app, sir. Oh, cheers, man. I yeah, appreciate no, no it. No problem. Yeah, Proud no to play them.